hello guys welcome back to our channel and welcome back for another lecture in the subject matter personal identification techniques so today we're going to be talking about forensic odontology as part of the sub discussion that we will be covering under the subject matter personal identification techniques so we discussed already anthropology or criminal anthropology and criminal anthropometry if you haven't watched the lecture on that yet I will uh, provide a cards above uh, so that you can click on it and watch my lecture relative to the topic that I had mentioned. So let us proceed to our topic today which is forensic odontology. Forensic odontology is defined as the application of dental knowledge to criminal and civil cases. Well, forensic odontology helps investigator in ascertaining the identity of a certain person when all other means of personal identification techniques are no longer relevant. The enamel, a substance found on the teeth, is considered to be the strongest bone in the human body which means that when all other substances that can be used in identifying the body are already decomposing or at the state of decomposition such as for example fingerprint or the iris or even the facial structures even dna or the skeletal remains so when all of these things are already decomposed you can no longer rely to them and the only thing that remains now is the tip because even if all of those substances that i mentioned even if all those part of the human body that are used in establishing the identity of the human being is already decomposing well the teeth will still be fined by then so to put it simply odontology will be considered as the last resort of establishing personal identification Aside from the mentioned significance of odontology to personal identification, it is also relevant in establishing whether the remains are of human origin, also in establishing the age of the remains, in establishing the sex, and sometimes even the social classification of the remains can be known through dental examination. Aside from its capacity to establish the identity, forensic odontology also helps out criminal investigators in dealing with crimes such as domestic violence, sexual violence, even cases of homicide where sometimes the teeth can be considered as a supplementary weapon in committing crime. With all this said, we are going to discuss also, or we are going to include in our discussion, some of the landmark cases that uses the concept of forensic odontology and they are the following so among the many cases that involves forensic odontology as the primary means of identifying the person identifying the accused providing evidence to prove the guilt of the accused we only selected two of those cases so one of the cases that we selected is we have here the first case in united states that they utilizes the concept of forensic odontology and that is the salem witch trial in year 1692 a priest was accused of witchcraft and believed to leave a bite mark on all of his victim and since bite mark is the only physical evidence left of the alleged crime they used the bite mark as the evidence to prove the guilt of the accused. So they compared the bite mark of the accused and the bite marks received by the victim and the judges concluded that they are produced from the same set of teeth, which apparently led to the conviction and execution of the accused. This first case, however, impacted the field negatively as it was found out that they wrongfully convicted and executed the wrong person. So another case that uses the concept of odontology was the Doyle versus State case. This is a case of burglary. 
Apparently, in this case of burglary in Texas, year 1954, a beaten piece of cheese was left at the crime scene. And after they had their suspect already at hand, the suspect was requested to bite another piece of cheese for the purpose of comparison, which then later on produced a conclusive similarities between the evidence or the cheese left at the crime scene and to the cheese that was beaten by the accused as requested by the court. And that specimen was later on used as an evidence to convict the accused. So in this case, they actually succeeded in taking advantage of the concept of forensic odontology to make their case go in their favor. Well, forensic odontology in summary has its success and failures like other fields of identification. Many organizations argue that evidences based on dentition shall not be accepted as evidence in court since it lacks scientific validity. But undeniably, there are still advantages that forensic odontology may offer in the field of criminal investigation to which we mentioned in our earlier discussion okay so that is with regards to the concept of forensic odontology its significance to criminal investigation and the background of forensic odontology as a whole so if you have question relative to this topic feel free to comment that down on the comment section and i will try to provide answer as soon as i can that's it for today thank you for listening to this short lecture i do hope you learned something from this lecture see you on the next video